Mark, well, does that send a message to the rest of the league? Uh, no, I'm not so sure. I think when I speak to a few managers who we've played against and that, they've always been quite complimentary of that, you know, we haven't taken our chances. And uh, today we've put that ball in the net, mm. that bolt of confidence through the group, you can see what it, what it does. And that's all we've been searching for is that confidence, um, those feel good moments to really connect the, us and the crowd. And we've certainly had that the last two home games, you know, 3-1 and 5-1, good score lines, um, plenty of goal action. Um, but it, it's funny because we've started halves a lot better and haven't had anything to show for it. But today, I didn't think we were anywhere near our best in the first half. And I, guess, yeah, I said to the lads in there, the shirt gets heavy because of the home form hasn't been great for, for quite some time now, probably the last five years. So um, the pressure grows and this is a new group. I keep saying it, it's a new group. We're learning about ourselves all the time. And, uh, you know, they, they they can sometimes feel feel that pressure. So it's important that we relieve that by winning. It's important that we connect with our fans with, with goals and wins. And I think we've certainly done that today. Like I thought the energy was on the pitch. They left everything out there. Uh, you see a few of them cramping at the end and we're fighting, we're working hard. And um, I said, we could have, there's some good chances in there for us tonight. And, uh, you know, but we're most pleased to get another three points at home and, and have that connection with our fans because that, that's a special feeling that you just can't. You can't recreate, you've just got to get out there and get the wins, you've got to do it. You say it was a well, more difficult first half, um, but obviously that was helped with two goals from an unlikely mm. source, Tyler Pordner, both, both headers. And, and then in the second half, obviously we scored from more, more of the, you know, the more common goal scorers in the team and, and really good goals from, from the floor as well. So there was, there was a real mix of goals today. Yeah, I think we've shown we can score in, a right, uh, in a, an array of ways. I think Tyler's gone agonisingly close so many times this year. I think he's hit the part, mm. he's had the about three cleared off the line, keepers making saves. So it was only a matter of time. And, and that's what you've got to keep the belief. And I always say it, the job never changes. You've got to keep believing in, in your processes. Um, I always think that this group's going to get stronger and better. But um, we've had the most important thing I think is, is that we've, we've got two home wins in a row, which can hopefully, uh, you know, give us confidence going, going forward. And uh, I think that's been the magic ingredient just missing from us, is just that little bit of confidence and the pressure has grown through us not quite getting the rewards that we I feel that we've deserved. I feel Maidstone, we could have been three or four up here. We wasn't. We have a crazy 10 minutes and then it, the whole atmosphere changes and it, and it becomes a difficult, a difficult game, a difficult place to play again. So only us can uh, galvanise this, this club and uh, performances like that, fighting like that, togetherness like that, will we'll hopefully start to do that. And obviously, well, a, a result like that obviously shows the fans in, at their best in, in the noise sense, but they were brilliant as well before the game, weren't they, with, with everything in the silence and, and, oh, and yeah. everything. Oh yeah, fantastic. Um, our club does that so well, um, you know, like the Remembrance Days and then obviously a special day today, remembering our, our, our Queen, um, I thought again, with the, with the pipe, with the bagpipes and uh, Mike Pusey coming back and delivering a speech. Uh, very poignant day again and uh, I'm glad we've delivered, um, you know, tonight for our fans and I'm, I'm really proud of the club, the way they, you know, celebrated our Queen too. And obviously it was in front of the BT Sport cameras, uh, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes people can play up for the cameras, sometimes it doesn't go too well, a bit of nerves, but I, we, there was no sign of that today, was there? No, and I think like first half, I thought we probably weren't as free-flowing as we would like, but I still thought we were dangerous every time, hence the goals, you know, there was other chances for us. But I felt we were probably, you know, probably felt a little bit of pressure, maybe felt a little bit of tension in there, and that, that's, that's the only thing which is causing us any kind of issues, and you see, once they got the shackles off a little bit second half and uh, I think you saw, saw the real us but the most pleasing thing for me is the mentality of the group you know it was a, a, it was a tough game um, and the way that we stuck about our work and we, we, we know that we can create a lot of chances we know we're a dangerous outfit and um, we certainly got the fruits for our for our labour today cheers Mark thank you cheers Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.